Hello everyone, I'm your meteorologist Ana Cristina Sanchez with the latest update on Hurricane Barrel as it makes its way towards Jamaica. This is a satellite image of the last few hours moving west northwest. Here's another satellite image. You can see the water vapor and there is Hurricane Barrel spinning moving west northwest. Right behind it there is some drier air but then there is a disturbance that also has the potential of becoming the next tropical cyclone. Now as Barrow moves in and it approaches, you will begin to feel the strong wind gust. We see that cloud cover, we see the winds have picked up. However, the strong wind gust, um, you'll be able to feel them on Wednesday morning through the afternoon. Hurricane Barrel is now a hurricane of Category 4 with sustained winds of 241 um, kilometers per hour. It is moving west-northwest at 35 kilometers per hour. And yes, it makes its approach. Um, there is strong rip currents, elevated surf, devastating hurricane force winds with life-threatening storm surge and damaging waves for Jamaica and the Cayman Islands for Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. As it moves through Jamaica, also moving just south of the Cayman Islands as a category three, then downgrading to a category two as it makes its approach to towards Mexico. Now, here's a closer look of the precipitation for the next few hours. The precipitation will begin to pick up as we head into Wednesday morning. However, it is Wednesday right around 10 in the morning when you'll feel those strong wind gusts just north of the island and south right around the eye wall. We'll have strong wind gusts and also very he heavy rainfall, flash flooding, um, devastating, threatening, life-threatening storm surge. Now keep in mind that the storm surge can go inland up to 10, 15 miles, even 25 miles and heavy rainfall for much of Jamaica. Now, as we go into Wednesday afternoon, the hurricane will make its way its way west northwest, still bringing heavy rainfall and very strong wind gust. And I'll show you the winds in just a bit. And by Thursday, we'll get a break from the rain. Still cloudy. There's still a chance of rain, especially throughout the afternoon for the northern portions of the island. And then there is another system right behind Hurricane barrel that will bring more rain. Now, if we're talking about the totals, um, from now through Wednesday afternoon, we're looking at right around 65 millimeters for Kingston. Now take a look, quickly jumps by 10 p.m. on Wednesday, we're already looking at 135 millimeters. However, there are some areas that will get even more rain. Now for Kingston, from now through Friday night, we're looking at right around 150 millimeters of rain, but Maypen getting 200 by Wednesday evening. Mandeville, right around 180. Kingston, 102. Port Antonio, we're looking at right around 130. Now, as we head into Thursday afternoon, these are some of the totals that you'll be looking at. This means this is very heavy precipitation, flash flooding, and just devastating overall, especially, especially as that system moves through the island with very strong wind gust, heavy rainfall, and very damaging waves. And of course, the storm surge, that is a big threat um, as the system moves west, here you can see the next possible tropical system moving right behind it. And so there will be more rain on the way. And it looks like it wants to develop into a tropical cyclone as we head into um, this will be we're looking at Thursday into Friday, Saturday. Now, let me show you the winds very strong winds those winds picking up as we head into wednesday morning moving into wednesday right around noon look at that 165 66 kilometers per hour kingston right around 70 very strong stronger than even the numbers that you see here black river or so also looking at right around 66 kilometers per hour as that eye wall moves through the island here you can see 
I'm backing up. And Wednesday morning, we're looking at very damaging wind gusts and sustained winds. So very strong storm surge as well. And on Thursday, we'll still have some strong wind gust. Here's the tropical force winds, definitely having beyond tropical storm force, we're gonna have um, winds that will be right around 150 miles per hour. Um, this is what you can expect for Wednesday. Lots of rain, heavy rainfall that will continue into the weekend as that next system falls right behind it. Um, we'll see multiple days of rain on Thursday. Some areas getting a break from the rain as that drier air moves in, but then right behind it, there is more rain on the way. This is what we have, tropical storm, I mean, Hurricane Barrel, moving west-northwest, sustained winds at 241 kilometers per hour. Category 4, as it makes its way through Jamaica, then downgrading to Category 3 and 2 as it makes its approach towards Mexico. Now, let me show you once again the satellite water vapor. Here you can see Hurricane Barrel making its way west-northwest. Right behind it, there's an area of drier air, dry air mass, and then here we have another disturbance. Right now it has a 20% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone within the next seven days. And when we're talking about rain totals, um, some areas could see right around 8 to 12 inches in the northeastern portions of the island. That is right around 200 to 300 millimeters of rain. This is Wednesday 11 in the morning. Very heavy rainfall for Maypen. Wednesday right around noon as it moves northwest and out of the island. There's a break in the rain. And then once again, by Friday into the weekend, more rain on the way. Here's some totals across the Caribbean, rainfall totals. And when we're talking about storm surge, this is the water that is pushed on shore by the hurricane and it causes the most damage of any of the hurricane hazards. So remember that storm surge can go inland, miles inland. So definitely be careful if you have to evacuate, make sure you have a plan, know where you need to go, know where your family is, where your friends are and leave when ordered to do so. And definitely communicate your plan with someone, with your family. Um, there'll be flooded streets, flash flooding that can happen on Wednesday due to the very heavy rainfall. These are some of the totals um, Jamaica will get from now through Thursday evening. And this is a look of Hurricane Barrel moving through the island on Wednesday. And right behind it, this model is showing another system developing. So therefore, getting more rainfall on already saturated areas. Here you can see another, once again, under hurricane warning strong rainfall moving in and very strong wind gusts for Wednesday morning into the afternoon so definitely stay safe out there and keep your family informed on where you are have an evacuation plan know where you're going and stay safe